In this short video, I'm going to show you how to look up properties, and I mean foreclosures, on Fannie Mae's website, homepath.com. Now, here's the problem, and a lot of people don't understand this, and I get this question quite often because Fannie Mae's website, homepath.com, will show other properties. It will show retail properties, just regular agent-listed properties that are on the MLS. They will be on Homepath. So a lot of people think that everything on there is a foreclosure, and that's not the case. And I'm going to show you really quick quick, how to look them up, how to know which one is a home path, which one is an actual foreclosure that's owned by Fannie Mae. For anyone out there that's not familiar with home path and Fannie Mae, let's define what is home path real quick. Home path is the name we use to market and sell Fannie Mae's real estate owned REO properties. Home path homes are listed for sale on homepath.com, complete with photos, detailed descriptions, and resources like financing options to help home buyers navigate the purchase process. Our goal is to support neighborhood stabilization, which includes prioritizing sales to owner occupants and selling properties in a timely manner to promote stability and minimize the impact to the local community. Now, one thing about this statement about selling properties in a timely manner, I don't really agree with that because their first look period, which you're going to learn about here in just a second, is 30 days. That means only owner occupants and government type entities, nonprofits, can bid on the properties within the first 30 days in the market. That to me is a little bit way overboard. So what kind of properties are available on HomePath.com? And this is the big question and the reason why I'm even making the video. HomePath.com includes properties owned by Fannie Mae along with other listings actively on the market. That means not all the properties are going to be Fannie Mae foreclosures. Homepath properties can represent a great opportunity for first-time buyers, seasoned buyers, buyers looking for a second or vacation home, or buyers looking for an investment opportunity. There's a wide selection of homes in neighborhoods across the country, from single-family homes to condominiums and townhouses. Keep in mind, the number, type, and sales price of homes may vary substantially by market as well as the condition of the home. Many are move-in ready, while some may require light repairs or more extensive renovations. Let me stop and answer this question real quick because I do get this all the time and I hear a lot of people talking about bypassing the agent, just go into the seller directly. But when it comes to foreclosures, you're not going to be able to buy a property directly through the servicer like Fannie Mae and the property is not listed. It's just not going to work. That's not the way they do business and it's just never going to happen. So you cannot make an offer on or purchase a HomePath property before it's listed. However, HomePath offers owner-occupants, home buyers purchasing their primary residence, and community-minded groups the opportunity to make offers and purchase HomePath properties before they're available to investors through the First Look program. First Look program's 30 days. Get a first look at these properties by noting if the property listing page has a first look icon, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. The first look period lasts 30 days, and the listing will show when the first look period expires. That just shows me and that they are not motivated to sell the properties very quickly. I mean, 30 days is it's just way too long to give an owner-occupant you know, a chance to look at the property, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and open the website, and it's homepath.fannymay.com. You can simply Google HomePath, and you should be able to pull it right up. But once you open the main page, you're going to see a lot of information here at the top. Um, you can log in for your account. you got short sale information, uh, how it works, search homes, community first, real estate professional tabs, home buyers tab. Now, they have a lot of good information on here, so if you're looking at buying a foreclosure, especially a HomePath property, make sure and go through and read all this. Even if you're not an agent and you're a buyer, it's still really helpful. And the more info you have, the more knowledge you have, the stronger a buyer you're going to be, especially when it comes to these type properties. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in the state of Florida here to make this simple so I can show you exactly what you're going to be looking for. Now, you're going to see a lot of properties on the map page, but most of these are not going to be foreclosures. Most of these are going to be typical MLS listings where you have a traditional seller and traditional buyers. They're not corporate foreclosure listings. But what you're looking for here on the left is you're looking for the first look icon, which means this property is still within the first 30 days of the first look process. It's going to show you when it expires, all that kind of good information. So you know when you see first look, first look is only a Fannie Mae property. So you know these are all Fannie Mae foreclosures, and it's inside the owner-occupant only status within the first 30 days. The other thing you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for the home path icon. And this just tells you that it is a Fannie Mae foreclosure, but it's already been through the first look process. So you're either looking for the first look icon or the home path icon. 
those are going to be your actual foreclosures. So you see properties that don't have either the home path or the first look icons, and they have a, just a traditional address with a price. These are not going to be foreclosures. Well, there might be one or two mixed in here, just other bank foreclosures that are on MLS. But just know these most all are going to be typical retail type transactions. Okay, this is not what you're wanting to look for when you're on home path. You only want to look for your home path icons or your first look icons. Let's just take a look at one real quick. This says under contract. A couple of things about Fannie Mae foreclosures. Everything is done online, so your agent's going to put the offer online. Fannie Mae is going to deal with them directly. So you're not dealing with another agent. The listing agent is not going to be involved in the actual offer process. You totally skip the listing agent and you go directly to the seller. The asset manager is the one that's going to be negotiating. Once they get a price that they're happy with and they accept the contract for the buyer, then the agent's going to get involved and get all the addendums and all that kind of stuff, you know, get the contract package together, all that kind of stuff. So just remember, if you're offering on a Fannie Mae foreclosure, your agent's going to be de dealing directly with Fannie Mae in bypassing the listing agent. Now, Fannie Mae is pretty cut and dry. In my opinion, they're pretty easy to deal with because they're either going to take it or they're not. They will negotiate, but Fannie Mae does not negotiate that much off the list price. They are very strict on their offer amount being very close in a close percentage to the actual list price. So just keep that in mind. You're not gonna lowball and win a Fannie Mae. That's just not gonna happen. That's really it for this video. I just wanted to show anyone watching that you're looking for your first look or your actual home path icons. Those are gonna be your foreclosures that are owned by Fannie Mae. All the other listings are just gonna be mostly traditional, typical MLS listings that you can find on Zillow or the MLS or anywhere else. But just remember, if you're looking for closures on HomePath, look for these icons. All right, if you have any questions, leave them below. As always, I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.